see raised hands, please, for questions during this embargo. One second. Coming to James Ducker first. James. Hmm? James, can you hear me? I can. Sorry. Um, hi, Pat. Hi, James. Um, Pep, you, you, you make various, um, you obviously spoken very passionately there and you make various references to the whispering that has gone on for years behind the scenes. And obviously that letter was sent by eight Premier League clubs to Cass earlier in the year. How, how much did that disappoint you? And do you want those clubs, if they've got a problem with City, to actually come through the front door and speak to you properly rather than rather than trying to collectively come together and operate in that way? So, in first of point, they all these clubs and leading for Arsenal, Leicester, Chelsea, Wolves, Man United, Tottenham, Liverpool, Liverpool, then Barley. So, uh, I understand they won this position, the fifth position for the Champions League. For in that terms, I can understand. So, what they ask is, we didn't want we delay we delay the process, you know, to for the next season like this, you know, could play the Champions League. We were so clear. So I said, yeah, we are completely agree with you, eight clubs. So we want to make the, the resolution for CAS as soon as possible to clarify this. Because I said, and you were all the time in my press conference, I said, if we did something wrong and you need to be banned, we will be banned and we will accept it. So I was completely agree with these eight clubs to go to the CAS and make the resolution. The resolution, it was there. So that's why they must be happy. They must be happy because we didn't break the rules. We play the same rules for all the clubs in the Premier League in the UEFA. So that's why. So next time, just, okay, before go or make a phone call, they can call for our chairman or CEO and say, oh, guys, Manchester City, we're going to do all these clubs. We're going to do it all together, you know, to, to, to try to, to, you know, to this kind of the resolution. So we were in the same page. So unfortunately, just can play four teams in the Champions League next season, not the five. Dave Kidd. Dave. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Dave. I don't listen to you. Dave, I'm unmuting you. Can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Um, sorry, Pep. Um, you said that... Uh, Tebas was probably jealous of the Premier League. Do you think those rival Premier League clubs are, are jealous of Manchester City and the way they have invested so much over the last 10 years and been so successful? Listen, but invest a lot of clubs. So United Arsenal sure. in the periods before win the leagues and the league, they invest more money than the other ones. Mm -hmm. When Chelsea start to win Premier Leagues, invest more money than the other ones. Mm -hmm. I'm a good manager, but I don't win titles. If I don't have a good player, the good players are expensive. But all the clubs spend a lot of money. Barcelona spend a lot of money. Madrid spend a lot of money. In English team spend a lot of money. Once another one. But we build a club in the terms of the last decade to compete with the elite of the Premier League on the Champions League. We need to invest. Invest creating incredible facilities here in the training grounds and do it. So and make a mistake. Of course we make a mistake. But we do it. We can spend, you know, as much money that our chairmen or our owners want. Always, always in the financial fair play rules. And we show it, we were there. In the last decade, FIFA, would, FIFA UEFA, EFA, we were exonerated for something they were, we were accused of all the time. So that is the reality. We can be there. But like, like all the clubs, but always on the pitch. What we want here, guys, was on the pitch. All the good things were done and the bad things were done, it was on the pitch, in the grass, in the green, there. We win, we want to be congratulated. Okay. They beat us, we are going to congratulate them. Okay, Jack, go on. Hiya, Pat. Um, I just wondered how much, because obviously you're quite emotional today, how much fire, it, how fired up are you because of this experience? And do you think the whole whispering and the investigation itself, do you think it's brought you closer to the club and you feel like you're more part of the club than you ever were because I, of it? I, I love this club. I love 
because I know the people here are working for a long time. And we have our history. It's, I don't know, it's better or wrong. It doesn't matter. It's our history. I love it. I like it. I like to work with the people I'm working with. I like it. And when I do something wrong, we do something wrong, I'm the first to say we did something wrong. We have to apologize or we have to accept the, the, the punishment or, or whatever, the, the big, big statements or the big uh, instance, they can do it. But it was not the case. It was not the case. I don't want to apologize for anything. I'm sorry, guys. Manchester City don't have apologized because the three independent judges, independent judges, decide we have done properly everything. It's clear. More than clear is impossible. So, and of course, I'm going to defend my club. And I'm critical of my club. And internally, when I don't like something, I said to my chairman, I said to them. So my chairman is not happy with me. We finished 21, 23 points behind Liverpool. He's not happy with me. But we discussed internally to try to do it better next season, to compete with them, but always on the pitch. And the people say something, go ahead and tell us here, face to face, not behind. Okay, uh, James Robson. Hi, Pat. Hi. Uh, for, for, the, for the Manchester City fans, this has obviously been a really troubling period of uncertainty hanging over the club. The only area of uncertainty left now is you and your contract. Is that fair to the fans to still have this uncertainty hanging over, over the, the most important part of the club? This club is incredible solid, with Pep and without Pep. So don't be troubled, don't be problem. So this club had success with before uh, my arrival here. With Mancini, with Pellegrini, they won a lot of titles and they play a really good football. So without me, when I am leaving, I don't know how it will be. And the new manager, because the, the structure and the club want to grow, we want to be solid. This is the most important thing. And they have an incredible thing. They have an incredible players. An incredible players. This is the reason why. And we have it. They want to keep it. And we have to reinforce as much as uh, we can because we want it, guys. We have a lot of money, but we want Alexis Santos. And we could not afford it. We want Harry Maguire, and we couldn't afford it. We could not pay like United pay. So we have money, but the other the other clubs have money too. Uh, we spend for the last decade more than it was in the past. Yes, but 25, 30 years ago, Arsene Wenger, the guy who is defend perfectly financial fair play. So Arsene, you know that uh, Manchester City was correct what we have done. So I spent a lot of money to be there. United with Alex Ferguson spent a lot of money to be there. All the clubs, if you want to be on top, all the clubs. If done, it's more difficult. Because being a good manager like I am, I'm not good enough without good players. No way. I'm enough humble to accept that without my players, I'm nothing. Zero. That's why I need my players. And for that, I need the clubs with a financial strong, like a lot of clubs, to do it. Uh, Simon Baskowski from Manchester Evening News. Um, I just wondered, in terms of you as a manager, how do you feel when other managers, Jurgen, come out and say it's not a good day for football? All I say is all of them their opinions for Jurgen and Jose, but I tell him, Jose, Jurgen, today was a good day for football, a really good day. It was clear what happened, and that's nice. Do you still have the same level of respect for them, for them commenting on things like that? I have my long history. Like, show I have a lot of respect, not just for the manager for Tottenham Hotspur and from Liverpool, for all the managers I face in the media, on and off the pitch, all the time. But I don't expect, I don't expect they are going to defend my club. But I wanted to defend my club. In the good and especially in the bad moments. Okay, last question from Jamie Jackson. Hi, Pep, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, the club was always very confident and you were very confident that, you know, you've done nothing wrong and you've been vindicated, so congratulations for that. But can you explain why, if the club was so confident, um, Cass did find that you, you the club obstructed the investigation? Because if you were so confident, why not, you know, do everything you can to make sure that, you know, the verdict goes the way which you believe it should do by helping them in the investigation. Are you asking something about uh, the lawyers 
the the lawyers uh, uh, the lawyers couldn't explain better than me. But uh, we did not do what they said, and they explained me a little bit. A little bit, they explained me what was the reality. But uh, in terms of how was the hearings or the process, I'm sorry, Jamie, but I cannot answer you because I don't know. But uh, just, you know, for the accusation that we felt, that uh, or the accusation that they gave us to us, it was not like this. So, like they said, we didn't do what they said. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye.